Hello again, Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. Welcome back. This is one for those PHP developers that are working on creating plugins for the Moodle LMS. What I want to show you is a clever little thing that I have used quite often and has become even more useful recently with a few projects I've been working on. And that is that if you have a local plugin that you've developed and you decide you need to give people access to that, how do you go about getting them to that without just giving them the, the URL? And in my case, this particular plugin, and I should disclaim it just here, this is for PHP developers working on Moodle plugins, just in case you missed that bit. So if you don't know much about PHP, then this might not be for you, but if you're interested in it, keep listening and I'll take you through it. Let's say I have a local plugin called Ricochet Demo. That plugin doesn't really do anything other than just show a page that just says some content. So there we go, Ricochet Demo. Doesn't tell us much, doesn't do much at all. If you've been involved in developing plugins, you may realize that sometimes you need to give access to that plugin so that a user with certain permissions can get to that plugin and be able to view it. Obviously, you need to secure the plugin as well. But how do we get a link to local Ricochet demo from the main page? So if we jump back, my question is, without them having to type in that URL, how do we give them the option of clicking on the left-hand menu along here to get to that. Now remember, this is a local plugin and we need to sort out the permissions and set the access. And I'm also using the classic theme for this. So you'll find that that gives you the left-hand navigation or any Moodle theme that uses the classic style theme, you'll be able to put that into the left menu. So let's jump into some code and have a bit of a look. So in our code, we have a local plugin down here. If we go into the index, you can see it's just a standard or fairly standard plugin, uh, we've got config and we've got all of this information here. So this is all the stuff that we have to have. But what I've added in here is a restriction that says if they don't have the capability local ricochet demo admin, so that means they don't have access to that capability that we've set up for them in the platform, then obviously they don't get access to this page. So that part's all right. We can do whatever we like inside that plugin, but the important bit is inside the lib.php file. And in there we have a way of extending the navigation. So it uses local, which is the folder that we're currently in, local, the name of our plugin, which is ricochet demo. So there's ricochet demo. And then we follow that with extend navigation. So that's the function that's going to be that we're creating that ends up overriding the navigation. Now we're talking about the global navigation here. So we use global navigation with the object navigation uh, that then gets brought into our function. So now using if has capability, and this was our capability that we already have existing. If you're not sure where that came from, it's in the access file. We've got a capability here called local ricochet demo admin, which you can apply to any user uh, or any of the roles. Jump back to our lib.php. All we need to do from here on is check that they have the capability. If they do, then we tell, we, we create a node using the navigation object, and we just say add to the navigation object. And I've got this get string, which just comes from our language file, which is here, language en local ricochet demo. Then a link to the actual file that we're going to, in this case it's custom page, but we could make that index page to go straight to the plugins index page, or we could leave that off. So it just takes them to the folder and obviously go straight to index.php. The rest of this, I'm going to leave what that is because all of the information on how that works is inside the documentation. But I wanted to show you where the information is or where you need to put the code, which is in the lib.php. You need to create your function that extends the navigation. Once you've done that, we can save that and we can go back and have a look and see what that actually did. If I refresh the page now, you can see we have Ricochet Demo as an extra link on the side there. That was the name of our plugin. If I click on that, Ricochet Demo, it takes me to the local slash Ricochet Demo page, which then shows the index.php, which is the local plugins actual file that it's going to run to be able to display whatever that particular plugin actually does. I hope that all made sense. Hope it's been useful to you. Please put some comments in there if you need any help with it. Love to help you out. Otherwise, if you're also looking for some courses on how to do some of this, check in the description below because I have some courses there that you may find really useful on how to create a plugin, how to create a child theme, how to create a block as well, which is quite different than creating a local plugin. Check those out. Hopefully they'll be useful to you. Otherwise, I'll talk to you again very, very soon.